hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video we will be looking at if AI really can design your UI with just a prompt uh, so I've already tested Google's new stitch tool uh, but in this video we'll be testing the Google's new stitch tool against a new tool that I've discovered called prototype which is a feature inside Miro uh, AI so Miro board or uh, I think I call it Miro yes so Miro board is a whiteboarding tool that has uh, grown since the last time I've used it and it has all of these new AI features so we'll be testing out its new prototype feature against uh, Google's new stitch tool and I already have a clear winner based on some of the things you're seeing already on my screen uh, but let's go ahead and test it out against a single prompt that we will use on both the tools. Before we get started, I need to mention that I will be testing both of these tools based on their speed, visual quality, usability and the customization. So, uh, and if you are new here, uh, I already have tested the Stitch tool and I have a video on it. Feel free to check it out. So let's get started. I already have a particular uh, prompt designed I'm just going to copy paste it I will make the prompt available for you guys to also use it but feel free to get creative and use whatever uh, prompt that you want to uh, see or you can also edit my prompt with the with your particular requirements so let's get started with the uh, stitch I'm going to go ahead and use the best model they have I'm not going to add a picture and I'm going to design it for uh, a web view and I'm going to drop my prompt there you go I've dropped it uh, just to cover what the prompt covers uh, it's going to be a multi-page website uh, it's going to have all of these pages it's going to I mean in terms of uh, design I'm asking for a modern clean UI with a white background and bold accent colors and shades of this particular accent color where necessary and sans serif uh, fonts okay so let's go ahead and click generate designs with Google stitch now until that gets uh, generated but first let's wait if it's asking for a follow-up question because because sometimes Google stitch does that it isn't asking for a follow-up question it's going ahead and designing my uh, designs until then let's move into Miro okay so uh, these are some examples of already designed designs using prompts you can see how comprehensive it looks so let's just move away from those come to some empty space here uh, now to access the prototype feature you need to click on this icon that looks like you know most AI uh, tools be using these days uh, this particular emoji so click on that when you hover over it you can also see it says create with AI now uh, see how cool it is so you can also start with a text prompt and a screenshot which uh, Google stitch also had not not that cool but still cool so let's click on a text prompt and then it's asking you if it's for mobile desktop or lap tablet let's go ahead and click desktop and obviously multi-screen flow because we have multiple pages okay so now let's drop our prompt here the same exact uh, prompt we're giving it a name called bright boost uh, the all of these pages modern clean UI uh, all of that I'm just going to okay so you can see how it's taking some time to generate our content let's go back to stitch okay uh, this is our design for Google stitch looks looks good in my opinion and it was relatively fast uh, so let's do this just to make sure that we simultaneously observe the speed from the experiments I did before starting this video uh, Miro was a little slower but I would say that it does uh, have a comprehensive cover cover meaning it does cover a lot of aspects in, in terms of design so I preferred 
the mirror designs over Google Stitcher's designs. Uh, but let's uh, find out live uh, for this particular prompt, right? Okay, so Google Stitch has finished producing our screens. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let me just expand. Uh, okay, so we have our home page. Covers the core services. Then this would be about Bright Boost. And uh, something to notice here is remember I gave it a particular color, an accent color. It didn't use my accent color. So I don't know why. Uh, and then our services looks very mundane for me because it's just listing the services and that's it. Uh, and then we look at success stories. Uh, yeah. But an important thing that it failed to uh, cover is the color that I gave it to uh, use. It didn't use the color. Uh, I think we encountered this particular problem even in our previous Google Stitch video. But we can always use that tool here. But no, okay. So this, the changing of colors is only available in the standard mode, not the experimental mode, which is their uh, better model. Uh, Yes, Google, I mean, sorry, uh, prototype does take some time and it's on the beta stage. So let's wait a little longer. And we have it. Okay. Uh, from the very uh, first impression, I can see how comprehensive, like I previously said, it looks. Uh, all of these lines above and behind and around it would be the navigation, which again, Google Stitch doesn't have. And uh, something important to uh, mention is it did consider the color, uh, the accent color that I told you to uh, take. And from just the looks of it, you can see how comprehensive it is compared to Google Stitch. I will get into the details. Uh, oh yes, let's first uh, apply it to Canvas. Before evaluating the two tools based on the categories I initially set, let's go over the design that Miro has actually produced. So something that you can do with the uh, Miro tool is you can actually uh, click on a page and navigate through the actual uh, design. So you can see how, it, how this looks like a window. And yes, I see it too, how the text is not aligned or isn't sized properly. As we go down, we can see uh, a brief about section, a brief our success story section, some testimonials, which I didn't really ask for, but it has given it a comprehensive uh, footer section. Uh, let's double check what exactly the pages are. So we have a landing page a home page about us, services, case studies, contact and testimonials page. Let me just double check if I ask for a testimonials page. Yeah, I didn't really ask for a testimonials page, but it decided that it felt like it is important. So um, I don't want to really go through all of these pages. Uh, I'll just show you guys uh, what the different aspects Miro has essentially covered and some design elements that it has taken into consideration. So you saw how it is teasing the user uh, with some information at the beginning and then a button to navigate to that particular section to see more, which is which I feel like is a good way to keep the user engaged. Uh, it, it did use the accent colors that I told it to use. Uh, but yes, uh, there is some alignment issues in terms or sizing issues in terms of text. Uh, they have a promotion section, which is very brand new. I didn't expect that. Uh, and the use of icons seems relevant. Uh, and they are, you can see how their case study page also uh, has some numbers and metrics just to show the user some uh, information. And I think numbers 
it's easy to sell with numbers so that's where people lose numbers um, yeah and the whole client testimonials uh, section yeah I'm not gonna get into a lot about all the design aspects I'm going to rate not rate I'm going to now get into the uh, evaluation of them based on the four uh, categories that I set so let's uh, just go over those four categories and I will let you experiment and decide what you feel about the two tools in terms of speed we definitely saw Google Stitch giving us or producing the designs much faster compared to uh, Miro and then in terms of visual quality I see uh, Miro uh, acing with visual quality in terms of uh, uh, the different icons it used, the way it placed the uh, different components and the use of uh, an extra page called a testimonials page uh, and the way it highlights different things uh, so I find uh, the visual quality of the design that Miro produced better than uh, uh, Google Stitch and then usability I think both are usable in terms of Google Stitch it would uh, be a little more simple website while the usability of the designs from Miro seems a little more professional with a lot of coverage in terms of different aspects customization in terms of customization you can customize the Miro board designs on Miro board itself you can't move it while with Stitch you can move it to Figma if Figma is the tool you are using but with an experimental mode uh, design you can't but you can definitely copy the code uh, and also customization in the experimental mode is limited so you'll have to just I don't know <laughs> you can't really customize I would say with the experimental mode on but with the standard mode you can do some customizations uh, with Miro you can do anything you want I can just go to a random uh, element and change its color there we go uh, yes so you can do anything you want this is basically uh, your design you can change its text and do whatever you want all right that was a head-to-head -head test between Google Stitch and Miro AI if you found this helpful hit that like button maybe even subscribe because I've got more AI tool breakdowns coming soon thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye for now